Hello, I'm Jamie Fisher from White Memorial. I'm the research director and I have some good news to report. A porcupine was seen out at the Five Ponds area in the Teal Pond vicinity. And we have a special guest star that today. This is a porcupine that's being rehabilitated by Jerry Griswold, the director of administration and development here at White Memorial. We've been making some observations over the course of the last few months since we first observed evidence of them out there. We started putting out soaked stakes that were soaked in salt water because they have a very strong salt drive. Porcupines have a strong salt drive in the summer. And we found that the stakes were getting some peculiar chewing over the course of the season. And one of our co-workers here saw the porcupine after work while bike riding out at Teal Pond. I've decided to uh, put a game camera next to one of our stakes. It's an infrared motion sensor game camera. And with any luck, we'll get a direct observation through by photographing the animal. North American porcupine is an interesting mammal. It's a rodent, but it has a very unique set of adaptations, which are these sharp pointed quills. They're a slow moving animal, and so these quills have evolved in, from hairs, from very stiff hairs on their body, and it can be used as a, a defense mechanism. Once you tussle with a porcupine, you tend not to want to tussle with one ever again. Although there are a few animals that are known to eat porcupines. The American fisher is one. Great horned owls occasionally will eat the young ones. But they have some other adaptations as well. Really strong curved claws on all four appendages, on all four feet. Allow them to climb. Some people might think they use those to dig, and they can do a little digging, but they're mainly used for climbing. Their eyesight is not as strong, but their hearing and their sense of smell is very strong. Let's take a look at those feet again. Look at those pads underneath the toes. Very thick pads. Gives them a good grip onto the side of a tree, onto the bark of the side of a tree. The belly doesn't have any quills. It's sort of a weak spot. Same with the nose. And if you take a look around, you can see that she's using her tail as sort of a prop. Like a little prop. It's like a... It's like an extra appendage that she uses to prop herself up like a kickstand on a bike. Very short quills on their tail. Very strong quills on their tail. And some people think that they can throw their quills. They cannot. Their quills can come out easily when they're when they're heightened alert, when they're very alert and they sense danger, they can erect their quills and that makes them more prone to come out. But porcupines can spin very quickly in a very short distance, in a very short distance. And so some people think they're throwing their quills and basically all they're doing is they're just whipping their tail around real quick and getting you one, one last time. From a safe distance, they're actually quite cute and very attractive little critters, an important part of our forested ecosystem here in Connecticut. 